Hey guys, so I want to walk you through a case study for a hot strip steel mill. They were able to double their lighting output with 25% lighting fixtures than they had before. So I'm going to kind of get into how they did that. Also, they had really hot temperatures inside of this hot mill. So I'm going to talk about the problems that that was causing when it came to lighting, as well as some of the things we came up with to help them resolve that issue there. But first, I want to back up and give you a little more context. I'm gonna to talk to you about the fixture that we were able to provide to them, as well as some of the building details before I jump into the side-by-side -side comparison here. So the fixture that we used was a 36,000 lumen fixture. That was a replacement for their 1,000 watt HBS fixture. So 36,000 lumens, 240 watts, that's LED. And that was at a mounting height of 45 feet. If it was a higher mounting height, we probably would have given them more lumens, but because of it was a little bit lower for industrial 45 feet, we were able to, to do it with the 36,000 lumen fixture. Now, when we did the temperature reading, we came into the facility, we did an audit, we looked at the temperature and it was 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That was like kind of the average ambient temperature, which is the same as 54 degrees Celsius. Normal room temperature is probably around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see that it was pretty hot, maybe even twice as hot as normal. And that's expected in a hot strip steel mill. Usually high temperatures don't play well with LED lighting. We'll get into that a little bit as we go on here. All right, so let's jump into the before and after. I want to show you kind of what they had before in terms of their fixture and what we were able to replace it with. So first off is weight, and weight is really, really important to the electrical installers, especially, and, and those that later down the road have to go and maintain those fixtures. The 1,000 watt HPS is over 60 pounds, and then the replacement LED fixture is only 18 pounds. So almost four times less makes it really, really easy in terms of installation. It's not so bulky and heavy. It actually looks like a smaller fixture and it is but it, it puts off a lot of light which i'll get into here in a second so what we did is they had four rows of lights in the bay and what we did was we were able to eliminate one of those rows so when we were done with it there was only three rows so it was like 260 fixtures that they had in there to begin with and they were able to reduce a lot of the costs and speed up the roi by just putting in 200 fixtures to replace there and you might be thinking okay well then it would have been darker but the crazy part is, is we did an audit beforehand and then we did a kind of a post audit. So we went in there and took some lighting level readings and it was only 15 foot candles beforehand. So it was pretty dark, pretty yellow. And then afterwards, after we put the LEDs in, it was 30 foot candles. So twice as bright, but there was 25% less fixtures because we only had the three rows instead of the four rows. So the customer was very, very happy with that. And then the lifespan. So like I said before, it was really the high temperature that was causing issues with the lights and they were having to replace them every 12 months. They actually went with a different LED company to start with. It was more of a commercial components, like the driver is really, really important when it comes to high temperatures. And so I think it was more of a commercial based driver and it wasn't really built for high temperatures. And so that fixture only lasted for about 12 months. And then when they went to kind of do some maintenance and maybe replace the driver, they discovered that those fixtures, the driver was actually built into the LED fixture. So they weren't replaceable. So that was kind of a bummer because they kind of had to eat that cost and then they decided that they would replace with our LED fixtures because of a couple reasons. Number one, our driver is replaceable. So you can see the round driver just sits right on top of the housing there. And so it makes it really, really easy for ongoing maintenance down the road. With that said, our temperature rating is 65 degrees Celsius or 149 degrees Fahrenheit. So their temperatures fall well within our range. And that's why I had put kind of on the chart there that it was a five year lifespan. We have so many different case study. We've sold thousands of these fixtures into hot strip mills. Steel is one of our kind of specialized industries. And we have fixtures that I've, I've done some audits personally where I've gone in and the lights have been there, I think for seven years and some even close to 10 years, um, even in hot areas. When I say five year life, that's guaranteed. That's our warranty falls within five years, even in these hotter areas, as long as it falls within the range. We do have other fixtures as well that can get even hotter, but for this one, we knew this fixture would do the trick in this area. They were able to get five times the lifespan at a minimum. One other thing I wanted to mention was that on this order, it was kind of a rush order. They said, hey, we have a shutdown coming up and we really need to get these fixtures in as fast as we can. We want to be able to have the fixtures here on site so that when the shutdown happens, we can go and start changing all these out. But they also wanted to modify the loop mount, like a specialized mounting modification that we had to come up with. So we said, okay, we we get it you know you need your product really fast we kind of cater to that we know that you know when you need the lights you need the lights when you have a shutdown coming up it's a priority so we actually had good inventory levels of all of our products but this fixture 
specifically, when they placed the purchase order for 200 pieces, we were able to get the modification done, get the order shipped out, and they had the fixtures on site within 18 business days of issuing the purchase order to us. So they were pretty happy about that. The other thing I wanted to mention is we offer free on-site audits for industrial facilities. So what we do is we come out, we come on site, we take a look at your facility, we do some temperature readings, we do some lighting readings, and then we can put together some fixture recommendations for you. It's completely free of charge. There's no obligation to buy from us, but we've got a team across North America and we're happy to do that for free. And so if you want more information or details on how that audit works, go ahead and just scan that QR code with your phone. That'll take you to the site, or you can just go to our website, ledinaction.com backslash audit, and then you can learn a whole lot more about the audit that we offer for free.